What's up YouTube, Ryan here. Welcome back to 1517 Films, where in every episode I'm always contending for the faith once for all delivered to the saints. And in this episode, we're continuing with our Liturgy 101 series today, Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy, stick around. So you've noticed maybe some of these things have funny names. Like uh, when we started, uh, and I encourage you, I'm going to pop a link up here. Get, if you're new to the channel, go to that first episode and follow us along, man. Every now and then, I'm going to interject some clips from when I was at Concordia, and we were uh, perf not performing, uh, practicing, because practice makes permanent. We were practicing the divine service as men who are considering becoming pastors. And I'll, I'll pop some clips of that in here. It's a highly entertaining uh but you'll notice some weird names like invocation. Well, that was the first one in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And why we did that. And then we moved on to confession and absolution. Now, these words are a little bit uh, more familiar to us, although maybe not so absolution. And then we got to intro it and uh, Gloria Patri, which was the last episode. And those are some weird words. But this one, Kyrie eleison, this isn't a weird word. It's just another language. This is Greek. Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy. And for for many, many uh, years, uh, decades, centuries in the, in the Christian church, I almost said Roman, uh, in the Christian church and into the Roman Catholic church, this simply never got translated. It was always Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. And then it evolved into uh, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison. You get the point. Um, uh, a threefold, threefold, threefold. Uh, and then at the time of the Reformation, Luther just looked at it and went, let's, let's go back to just Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison. Uh, still a Trinitarian formula. So Kyrie eleison, uh, I don't know about you. I've said it as a prayer. I've said it in Greek because that's just popped out of my face that way. I'll be at work. Something will be stressing me out. And I'll just go, Kyrie eleison. Lord have mercy. Um, this is a prayer uh, of the church, an ancient prayer of the church. And this is a prayer Jesus loves to hear. Uh, so <laughs> now, there are many versions of this. And we're going we're gonna to get to it. But traditionally, the Kyrie... Uh, it's Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Now, if you're interested in kind of a fleshed out version of the Kyrie, check out my video over there. <laughs> I can never get this right. Uh, on praying the litany. That is a, a full fleshing out of, of the, the, the Kyrie. Um, Kyrie eleison, um, Christ, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy. Um, it's a it's a response sometimes as you're praying. Uh, the, the, the pastor or the, the someone is praying, uh, at, but it's an inclusive prayer. And so they'll pray and they'll end their position or petition. <laughs> and uh, the response of the congregation is Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy. Um, so this, so we've got the invocation, we've got the confession and the absolution, we've got the intro it or the psalm or the opening hymn. Now we're at the Kyrie. And this is just a prayer that Jesus delights to hear. It's a prayer that he delights to answer. Uh, and for this prayer, we're going to go to the Bible. Then we're going to watch uh, what it was like when Ryan tried to do it 10 years ago. And let's all have a laugh at that, okay? And then we'll pick it back up and we'll talk about it. So we're going uh, into the Gospel of Mark, uh, the 10th chapter, starting at verse 46. And they came to Jericho, and as he was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a great, a great crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind beggar, the son of Timaeus, was sitting by the roadside. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he cried out all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stopped and said, Call him. And they called the blind man, saying to him, Take heart, get up, he is calling you. And throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. And Jesus said to him, What do you want me to do for you? And the blinded man said to him, Rabbi, let me recover my sight. 
And Jesus said to him, go your way, your faith has made you well. And immediately he recovered his sight and followed him on the way. So this, uh, if you're going through Lutheran service book, you'll see Bible passages all over the place for, to, to show us where from the scriptures the liturgy comes from. So now in this video clip, you're going to see, as I'm trying to show it to you so that we can be serious and entertaining at the same time, you're going to see, um, oh, it's old. Um, you're going to see divine service setting one. There's multiple settings of our divine service because while our heritage is rich, it's not mandatory that our worship be the same in all places all the time. So you can go uh, to, to one church and they might be doing divine service setting two and you can go to another church and they're doing divine service setting three but on the same Sunday. and there, But there are things that connect them. The liturgy stays the same even in its variety. So let's watch this clip of uh, the Divine Service setting one, setting of the Kyrie, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about it. In peace let us pray to the Lord. My ears are bleeding. I don't know about yours. <laughs> so, while our ears are bleeding, let's make them bleed again. So, in our Lutheran service book, now we're into uh, something. Uh, so, you'll see on the first page, it's, this is confession and absolution. Now, we're getting into a different portion with the intro, with the psalm, or the entrance hymn, and the curia. We're into the service of the word. Now, we're going to be focusing on God's word. So, uh, the pastor or the assisting minister will be up front. And he may chant or say. If uh, I, I personally, uh, it's personal preference, which worship isn't about, I would personally prefer to have this chanted, even poorly, uh, but still, rather than not have it at all, I'd rather have it spoken. So uh, he will just, in peace, let us pray to the Lord. And the congregation, Lord, have mercy, see, Kyrie eleison. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Kyrie eleison, but the melody has changed. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. So you see, this is why it's called Kyrie. Lord, have mercy. Kyrie Eleison. And if there's one thing the Lord delights to do, he delights to have mercy on his people. We see that, um, oh, I, <laughs> that, that blind man, did you hear what the word said? He yelled all the louder, son of David, have mercy on me. What did he mean by have mercy on me? Lord, I want my sight. So part of praying Kyrie eleison is telling the Lord exactly what you want. Recognizing that you are a poor, miserable sinner and you don't deserve it. And you shouldn't even really be asking for it because he's God. But faith brings us to Christ in all confidence and boldness to lift up our prayers and our petitions before him and to beseech him for mercy. And he loves to be merciful to his people. So in this, the divine service setting one version, we're praying for all sorts of things. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. 
For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord for the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church of God, and for the unity of all. Let us pray to the Lord for this holy house and for all who offer here their worship and praise. Let us pray to the Lord. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Amen. The, we've prayed for everything, haven't we, already? And there's going to be a portion later on in the divine service when we do the prayers of the church and we include everyone. And oftentimes there too, when the pastor is praying and he finishes a petition, the response of the people, Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy. This, I, I can't overstate this. Uh, we should always be beseeching, the, going to the Lord in prayer, presenting our petitions to him in confidence and resting assured that the Lord delights in having mercy on his people. Now, the um, curie gets a little bit different when we get to, let's say, divine service setting three, which is my personal uh, favorite uh, setting. Uh, There's lots of chanting in this one, and I love it uh, because, uh, I said it before, I'll say it again, uh, he who sings prays twice. So, uh, chanting is is incredible. <clears throat> so this 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 is much different. This isn't a a litany. Um, this is just the prayer of the people. So as a congregation, Lord have mercy upon us. Christ have mercy upon us. Lord have mercy upon us. And then. In Divine Service Setting 3, if it's not painstakingly obvious elsewhere, right into the Gloria and Excelsis. So, um, let's see what we got here. Yep, uh, Hymn of Praise uh, or uh, the Gloria and Excelsis. Um, now, we're in the season of Lent now, so the Gloria and Excelsis is omitted. But how... <laughs> this... Con the Kyrie is important because of its place in the liturgy and what it confesses. We are beseeching the Lord for mercy. And immediately, because faith clings to the answer, we sing glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Or, um, as uh, we'll get to in the next episode, uh, this is the feast, which is also an option. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're really enjoying talking about the historic liturgy of the church because if we're given a choice between doing it for the very reasons why the church has always done it that way and has withstood 2,000 years of history and cheapening it to a praise concert, there's more that God has to give to us. And there's more that we confess to the world about what we believe by doing it the way it has always been done because it's been done that way for a very good reason. So in this day of trouble, in this day of peace, whatever our circumstances, let the prayer of our heart be. Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison. Until next time, may God richly bless you in the grace and mercy won for you by Jesus' vicarious death on the cross for all of your sins.